we are given cosine of u is equal to negative 11 fifteenths in quadrant three, and we're asked to find the exact value of the following. We will determine these trig function values using the half angle identities shown here below. We we'll notice for sine of u divided by two and cosine of u divided by two, we need to find the value of cosine u, and therefore we can quickly determine these first two trig function values without having to use a reference triangle. But we do have to determine the sine of these two trig function values based upon the terminal side of angle u divided by two. Because angle u terminates in quadrant three, let's assume angle u is between 180 and 270 degrees, and if we divide everything by two, the angle u divided by two is between 90 and 135 degrees, which is in quadrant two. In quadrant two, x is negative, and therefore the cosine of u divided by two is negative, and y is positive, and therefore the sine of u divided by two is positive. Which means the sine of u divided by two is equal to the positive square root of one minus cosine u divided by two, which is one minus negative 11 fifteenths all divided by two. Subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive, and therefore the numerator simplifies to one plus 11 fifteenths which is equal to 15 fifteenths plus 11 fifteenths, which is 26 fifteenths. This simplifies to the square root of 26 fifteenths divided by two. Dividing by two is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, which is one half, and therefore this is equivalent to 26 fifteenths times one half, for multiplying, we can simplify. There's one, two, and two, and 13 twos and 26, giving us 13 fifteenths. So this simplifies to the square root of 13 fifteenths, which is equal to the square root of 13 divided by the square root of 15. We could rationalize the denominator here, but we will go ahead and leave it in this form. This is the exact value of sine of u divided by two. And now let's find the cosine of u divided by two, which again, because the angle u divided by two terminates in quadrant two, the cosine function value will be negative. So we have the negative square root of one plus cosine a divided by two, or in our case, one plus cosine u divided by two, which is one plus negative 11 fifteenths all divided by two. Simplifying one plus negative 11 fifteenths is four fifteenths, this simplifies to negative square root four fifteenths divided by two. Again, dividing by two is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. We have four fifteenths times one half. Simplifying before multiplying, there's one, two, and two, and two twos and four. This gives us two fifteenths. So this simplifies to negative square root of two fifteenths which equals negative square root two divided by the square root of 15. This is the exact value of cosine of u divided by two. And now let's find tangent of u divided by two. We can use any of these three identities shown here on the right, but remember that tangent theta is equal to sine theta divided by cosine theta, and therefore tangent of u divided by two is equal to sine of u divided by two divided by cosine of u divided by two. Let's go ahead and find the tangent function value this way, which is really just this identity here. Sine of u divided by two is equal to square root 13 over the square root of 15, and then divided by cosine of u divided by two is negative square root two over square root of 15. Let's write this quotient as a product, which is the fraction in the numerator of the square root of 13 divided by the square root of 15 times the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator, which is negative square root of 15 over the square root of two. There is a common factor of the square root of 15 between the numerator and denominator. The square root of 15 simplifies to one here and here. The final product is negative square root of 13 over the square root of two. And this is the exact value of tangent of u divided by two. I hope you found this helpful.